Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeterra video. Today, I'm going to share with you guys a Noxus Ionia aggro deck that does not feature any champions. Pretty cool, hey? Sounds cool to me. Now, as obviously traditional burn aggro did drop down a little bit in terms of the lists that we all already knew and have played with. So people are trying out different archetypes. People are trying out... Uh, older archetypes going back to you know like, like jinx and draven and stuff like that but i recommend you should give this deck a go it is pretty cool let's jump over and look at the cards so this is actually an idea well i'm not sure where it originally come from but i had a viewer by the name of rice guy 181 passed me his deck code i had a couple games i tweaked it a little bit and then come out with this which was performing pretty crazy it's probably still subject to change but i think it's a very interesting archetype and i'd love to see how, where it goes in the future we're still running like decimate and stuff like that so one of the additions i made to his list here was actually adding in the solitary monk in replacements of some other cards this this is interesting right so solitary monk is just a three mana four three with elusive which can be quite strong if you're versing a deck that can't deal with it we've got some pretty similar you know uh mechanics to elusive but we're not really running the uh wayfinder package we're just kind of running a lot of the powerful noxus cards and so forth so decimates three of we do want to try and burn them down quickly this is kind of a burn deck but we don't really have the maximum burn tools we just kind of have replacements i guess we'll call them so three decimates three solitary monk three noxium fervor this is to try and push the rest of the damage most of the time solitary monk you want to try and play this onto the field before or after at certain points where your board gets wiped you can play this and try and smack them for four or every now and then you may flip back a demo uh demolitionist and be able to deal some more damage it's kind of interesting because like depending on how much mana you have you can always play it to bring it back and just hit your own solitary monk just to push a little bit more damage which is quite cool one of the, then we have a we have a fuck ton of two drops guys we have a lot of two drops because that's just kind of where our curve ends up going out so some of the time you'll play multiple one drops in a turn with this list but um trifarian hopeful this is one of my own additions to the list as well now this is very susceptible to like mystic shot etc but on turn two you're probably going to be playing this or even like on turn four alongside another unit because we have so many two drops you can oftentimes have a 5-2 on turn 2 as well, which is pretty crazy if some decks can't deal with it. It also goes really well against matching up against mid-range decks. This, like, it's a very unfavorable trade for some decks, especially uh, Bannerman. When you're playing a 2-mana 5-2 and they're playing like a 4-mana 3-1 and whatever. It's just crazy. This is definitely probably going to change, but we'll wait and see. For now, I did really get some good highlights with it, so it's really amazing. Uh, transfusion i've bumped this down to a two of because i wanted to fit in certain other cards and this is one of the first cards i started to look at the cut so two transfusions is pretty cool i'm not going to go up to three obviously it synergizes quite greatly with disciple but most of the time we, the board state's going to look a little bit different we can't exactly be transfusioning all the time against some of our one hp units but you know it's there to try and set up favorable trades and it does what it needs to do i don't want three because i think three is going to be a little bit clunky for now but it's been doing powerful things. And Navori Conspirator, this is pretty much to be flipping back like Demolula, blah, blah, blah. Demolition, I can never pronounce it right. You get the idea. We can use the Conspirator. We can flip back the Demolition. We can flip back the Navori Blade Scout, give it Elusive, keep hitting in, which is pretty cool. Uh, this, you know, and it's Elusive itself. Uh, most of the time we kind of want to avoid flipping back certain cards but it can find some usefulness this is you know very a very uh, raw deck it's probably going to be some changes but it's been performing pretty strong uh grigley duo this is kind of going alongside all these two drops we play this we can sometimes buff it up and smack our opponent in the face real elusive nonsense brothers bond two of this is like actually one of the cards i bumped up it was a single copy in the original list but i bumped it up to two i like playing it alongside all these units you can oftentimes go very wide so it's a bit more board focused than traditional traditional burn but as soon as we lose it we can resort to some powerful and uh decimates and noxium fervor our brother's bonds two of it's pretty cool uh precious pet three of legion saboteur three of and Blade blades got three of we want plenty of one drops to try and get them all down early uh pretty cool list i had a lot of fun with these games i hope you can enjoy the footage that we got uh because boy man like this is pretty powerful. Have a great day, guys. I'll be seeing you soon. One drop.
Do you have a favorite deck right now? Probably your sword control at the moment. Outside of that, I wouldn't say there's anything I've gone. I really enjoy playing. I've been enjoying your sword control because it really makes me think. And maybe it just could be because I'm winning with the list. So in terms of which unit I want to get Thermo Beamed. It's probably Precious Pet. What about yourself, Mojo? You enjoying the Karma Ez? Do I want to get Thermo Beamed? Pet. Yeah, I, do, I have a great hand to play off. I just need to make sure I'm making the right choices. So I basically need to make a decision to choose which cards I'll play around and which ones I won't to try and improve this hand state. I think I'm going to choose to... Doesn't matter what cards he has, I'm going to play my Green Glade now. I also could have played Disciple this turn actually, maybe that was a mistake. Sedge Plunder. I was actually having a lot of fun with um Fizz for a while when I was doing earlier days with Sejuani. I probably sync to like So no Thermo You might have Thermo Beam still. I probably synced like 60 games into that. A uh, Freljord and a Bilgewater. I think that turn, this turn I should have played Disciple and then it looked to kind of go wide against him later. I'll try anyone you want. I have my orders. This is a crazy hand. I think I waited. I should have played um, Disciple that turn. I should have played Disciple that turn. The first turn two, I should have played Disciple. And then on this turn, I should have been slamming down the green glade. Was he going to swing with everything? I should have played you first, but see what happens. Should have played you first, hundred percent. So I would have had two big threats if I played the hopeful. So now he clears this, and I've been punished. No problem. Fuck. 
the top deck. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. We should pass here. Because he may have Mystic Shot. Okay. He'd be firefed if he actually had the Mystic. <laughs> GG. Yeah, I saw the Rune Terror News video. It's kind of cool. I was a little bit disappointed that like the, uh, uh, what do you call it? That the game modes just seem very similar to, um, Hearthstone. Like the Gauntlet and the, um, the other one. I forgot what it's called. It is, they just felt really copy paste from what Hearthstone was doing. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but for me personally, I was like disappointed, I guess. But I'm not disappointed about the fact that they're bringing out cards every two months. That's insane. Am I supposed to block you? Alright. They're not rotating cards yet. And I hope that they honestly don't. I hope that they can build like a huge collection without doing like a rotating. It's It might be inevitable, but I like the idea of a card game where it's just um, not split. Like the ranked at least isn't split into separate game modes. In case you guys make it rain, I'm gonna play this one. So pretty. Nice play. Playing fucking slot bot. The treasure was in me the whole time. The Yordo here is with me. Yeah, let's play Green Glade. I was considering Solitary Monk, but I think that's going to be waiting. My turn. See if he wants to take a block here. Nothing but a footnote. Suit up. Is that all? I'm actually going to go super aggressive here. a lot of damage. Plus we have Decimate in hand, which is fucking insane. What did we get? Quickly. Okay. Things as they truly are. Sub 
Subterfuge, hidden clues, it's all here. Hey, Krabby! <laughs> That's my resting face. Oh, yeah! Tread lightly, strike hard. Okay, you can't stop this, Kenny. Oh! It should take the cards from the bottom and said, yeah, I've heard that one. I've heard that going around quite a lot. It makes it like at least decks that try and play from the top of the deck more relevant. Just time and that's it? Huh, I guess they're cutting by. What's the replacement? Uh, Thermobeam! If you guys know Thermobeam here, we are bowling, dude. Nice. Show me your mystic shot. How crazy would it be if he had no answer to this 5-2? That would be super tilting. I think that would definitely be better for Freehold. Hell yeah, it would. Like Starlight Seer OP again. This is a two mana 5 2. How crazy is that though? Two mana 5 2. What? I guess he's denying me one point of damage. I think he wants to play a unit here. Chase them down. Is that Karina? That's kind of cool. Play this while nothing's on the field. I'm going to try and do this now while I can guarantee value from it. You want to do this turn? You want to play Heimerdinger this turn? I'm going to play slow. I'm going to play slow this turn. Because of cards like that. I'm not going to play Transfusion. You could have Get Excited. Get Excited is a card. Swing with these three. Probably could have justified swinging with these, this one as well. This might have been pretty passive on me. <laughs> yeah, 
Yash. He takes this trade, that's pretty good. Static shock. Weird, weird block, but this is just clearly more damage. Sure. Next is elusive unit. Really good draw. We have lethal this turn. Okay, we're chilling. Let's see, he has um, Spirit's Refuge, then we haven't got Lethal. It's depending on when he swings. If he plays something, if he drops below four mana, like we're insane at the moment. You think that would be better as well? Yeah, from a... Uh... Oh, that's a GG. <laughs> oh. It's not a GG. Shit. Shit. My turn. We should open attack first. Force him to use some cards to like destroy my cards. I can play like Solitary Monk and Demo just alongside each other at any point. So we should have the win here. Unless he has Spirit's Refuge. But then this attack goes through. This is kind of cool. The, f the interesting thing with Solitary Monk that we can rip back the uh, <laughs> thing on the demo. Blah, blah, blah. This is cool. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, which one do we pull back? It was this one, right? For the Empire. Damn, got him! Oh, dude, that's spicy, man. This list is popping.